Hey guys, welcome back to Dandelion Dolls, and today we're doing the part two to our fixing up an old American Girl doll. So today we're going to be showing you how to properly clean your doll. I hope you enjoy! Hey guys, welcome back to Dandelion Dolls, and today we're having the part two of fixing up American Girl Isabel. So yesterday on our channel, we showed you how to um, add, replace your doll's necktie with a zip tie and how to tighten your doll's limbs. So today we're going to be showing you how to properly clean your doll's skin because this one is pretty much one of the things that's mostly wrong with your dolls. Like she, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but she has a thin layer of dust on her limbs and her face. But I'm going to show you how to um, remove that. So let's just get right into the video. So the things you'll need for this um, skin cleaning process is um, a magic eraser. And I really prefer the magic erasers over every other cleaning method. First it's what all the age YouTubers use to clean their dolls. But it's also easier to clean the doll. And you can get these pretty much everywhere. Like you can get these at Target. Home Depot probably, Walmart, and Amazon, and they clean the doll's skin really good. Next, you're going to need like a water spritzer or like a faucet or something. I'm using a water spritzer just because I'm not near a faucet currently, so the water spritzer is just better for than just dipping it in like a glass of water. The next thing you're going to need is pretty obvious, is um, a hair tie or like a scrunchie. Um, because when you're cleaning the doll's skin, it's better just to have her doll hair up in like a bun or something. So you probably already have, if you're doing this, your doll's probably already going to have her hair tied up. It's just easier and I just want to say that. Okay, this next item is optional. So this is a really cool tip I learned from Forever and Doll Ways and I'll link the video down below. But if you ever have a doll that's like from second hand, and, or you found her in her attic and she's been like really dusty smelling or maybe she's second hand and you don't like the smell of the house and you just want her to make it smell more like your house so I'm just using golden sunflowers from Bath and Body Works but I prefer the Bath and Body Works ones just because they're more thinner so this one's optional I just prefer it if you're fixing up dolls second hand that do not smell amazing okay so that's pretty much all you're gonna need for this process Okay, now onto the limb cleaning process. Okay, so you're first gonna start with your magic eraser and your water bottle, and I'm just gonna spray it at the top a bit. And you see, I got it kind of wet. I'll probably wet it a bit more, but it's damp. So now what you're gonna do is, I'll zoom up, and I'll do this on her arm, but. I'm just gonna lightly scrub her arm and she's very dirty how dirty she already is that is really dirty so I'm just gonna clean it by just spraying it a bit and it'll go away so now I'm gonna work on the other arm and I probably should have okay so now here's some things you should know before going on to like the face and stuff um, so I'm just going to talk to you while I clean her arm, but, so, um, the magic eraser can take off your doll's facial paint, and if you're not careful and you're just scrubbing away at your doll's face, um, you could, like, scrub off half of her, you could scrub off half of her eyebrow or her lip paint or even her facial paint and her cheek paint and you don't want that to happen so just be very careful and if you're younger have your parents with you or someone older than you preferably a parent and whenever you're doing something like this to your doll always have parent permission that's like one of my number one things Because you don't want to do something bad and mess up your doll with your parent not knowing. So just scribble it on her arm.
Okay, so here's Isabel all properly cleaned and she looks really good. So, you guys probably are curious how dirty she is and that is really dirty. I haven't cleaned it all this dirty yet, so yeah. Well, I was just thinking you guys would want to see that. And so she's really clean now and she's all shiny and she looks really, really good. Now here are some things for you guys to keep in mind. So you're probably wondering why your dolls get so shiny. Um, well, a new, because you're like, my new dolls are not shiny. So what happens is, over time, the grease on your fingers and stuff get onto the doll and like dirt and it makes it shiny. So if you see your doll is shiny, it's probably a good idea to go and clean her with a magic eraser. But always have parents' permission first and always, always be really careful because this is a very expensive doll and we don't want to ruin it and painting on eyebrows and all that stuff is a lot of work so just be very very careful and if you're younger have your parents do it so um she looks really good and i'm very happy about this and i think she's coming along really really good okay guys so this is the last step it is an optional step and it's the perfume step and I will link the video down in the description if you want to go check it check out the video and see the how to do it but it's um this doll I'm not gonna do it too since she doesn't need it because she's my sister's doll and um yeah she, I think she turned out really good and I'm really thankful of how she turned out and guys I'm gonna link another video down in the description and it's how to clean your doll's skin another method and it's the way American Girl does it but I have to say I'm not a big fan of the baking soda technique it leaves her skin really grimy and like grainy because of baking soda but if you guys are interested in it I'll leave a link down in the description for it and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna leave some before and after pictures so stay tuned and guys, remember to please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.